Hi guys, welcome to Sherrod's Lunchbox. On today's episode, I have Dr. Vera Kare Asher. She's going to talk about how she utilizes social media in the voice industry. She's an opera singer and she's got a lot to tell us right after this. Hi, my name is Dr. Vera Kare Asher and I am a soprano and producer as well as a performance coach. My company is called Inspire to Inspire and it deals with motivational arts, entertainment and performance training. Well, I have my doctorate in voice performance and I have performed as a professional singer in the areas of jazz, pop, Broadway and opera as well as being a singer-songwriter so I've gone the gamut and I've really enjoyed being on the live stage. So as part of my career I've also done directing and producing of live stage shows for mainstream audiences as well as classical productions. In my doctorate I developed a method that was part of my dissertation that was called Pilates to Voice because there's this abstract idea of singing and voice production so this is for speech as well as singing so it works for actors I have lawyers as clients or people who have vocal rehabilitation issues and it's great because it actually gives you a tangible way to understand breath support and using Pilates based exercises that have been modified for voice and then we also integrate voice with that well, my heritage is from India. I was born and raised in Canada, so I've had this dual East meets West kind of, um, it used to be a conflict. Now it's great as I call it juxtaposition. I sing as part of my classical training in several different languages from in Italian, French, German, so it only felt natural to add the Indian influence as well. And I created something, I'm the only one in the world, that does something called Opera to India and it was part of a major production called A Touch of Opera, Touch of India, where it juxtaposed um, cultural dance, music, and singing with um, East meets West. Social media is great. You know, at first I was really resistant. I first started with YouTube, and like I said, I love live performance, so the recorded idea always made me nervous because I'm such a perfectionist. But YouTube is great because then people from anywhere in the world has access to the credible things that you've done. Also, it's really hard when you travel all the time for people to know where you're based out of. So from Facebook to Twitter to the website, blogs, and YouTube, I can ascertain that yes, I'm based out of Santa Monica, California, but I have ties in New York, Las Vegas, Vancouver, British Columbia, and all and many other places around North America and the world. They can find me at my website, Facebook. I have a business page as well as a personal page as and Twitter and then through my website there's also personal blogs.